I'm one of the digital content ambassadors from Lancaster University. I study English literature, creative writing, and practice, and am currently approaching the end of my third year right now, which is my last year. And I'm currently in Jakarta, in my hometown right now, because of the pandemic. And I'm missing Lancaster. I miss the people, I miss the place, I miss even the food. You know, there's no denying that moving miles and miles away from home, moving from Jakarta to Lancaster was a major change in lifestyle. And on top of that, attending university is just a whole new experience. There's new places, there's new faces, um, new responsibilities. <laughs> Everyone's basically stepping out of their comfort zone and everyone's trying to make this process as easy as it can be for them. So I thought it'd be a good idea to talk to you guys about the things I wish I had known before going to Lancaster. And, and it's a lot. <laughs> but I've managed to compile everything um, over the three years of my experience in Lancaster. I've managed to compile it into five major categories. I won't be just covering Lancaster as a place or as a community but also Lancaster as a university. So I'll also be talking about the programs and the services available to you during your time studying there. Hopefully you'll find this video useful and informative. So without further ado, let's move on to the first point. Lancaster is one of the handful of UK universities that offer a collegiate system. What it is, is a smaller community within the university that helps you get more involved and more active on campus socials and activities. It's quite like the houses in Harry Potter's Hogwarts, but unlike the sorting hat, you get to choose your top two colleges. and. My experience with that is that I based my choices on the course I was studying as well as where the college accommodation is. My first choice of college is county because I know that my seminars as an English literature student as well as a creative writing student would be mostly there and I know that other English literature and creative writing students would be mostly in county. And then the second choice that I had was, it was between Boland and Furness because Boland was the closest thing to county, but Furness is in the center of campus. Like, it's close proximity to basically everywhere. And I took my time deciding on which colleges I, which college I wanted to be in. So I ended up being in Lonsdale. <laughs> if county, Boland, and Furness are here, Lonsdale, is here. <laughs> so if this is the north of campus and this is the south of campus, it's a 15 minute distance walk, which means that every day instead of five minutes, um, I, I need at least 15 minutes to get to my seminars and lectures. But it's okay because I did meet a lot of good friends there and the fresher reps were very accommodating and welcoming. The problem was that I didn't do enough research. I thought I thought that once you were assigned a college that that was a done deal, that that was permanent. And I think after some time, it also played a part that I was too comfortable and I was afraid that I wouldn't make as good of friends. I was afraid that all the groups were already formed and like it would be harder to make friends because of that. So because I was already friends with people from my neighboring countries as well, I I didn't want to risk it. But looking back, I wish I did. I really wish I changed my college earlier when I felt uncomfortable with it or unsatisfied with it because it's not worth walking 15 minutes every morning during the colder months when I'm not used to it and I had to, it took me a while to get used to it. It really did. Even though a 15 minute walk may not seem as much, it's quite a lot for someone whose home country's main form of transport is by car <laughs> or by motorcycle. 
we barely walk, I guess. <laughs> my mindset then was that the first two weeks in university, you'll make these friends and then you'll just stick to it. I wish I knew then that that is completely untrue <laughs> and quite ridiculous because making friends isn't something that stops after two weeks, you know, you'll branch out and you'll meet people from seminars, from lectures, from societies. But the important lesson from here is that nothing is ever permanent for you, especially in the first year. And during my time there, I believe you could change colleges even at the end of your first year when you're choosing your accommodation for the second year. So that by the time second year starts, you're at a new college or a new on-campus accommodation. And even if you're like me, and you figured all of this out in third year and it'd be too late, you could change which college you graduate with because most of my friends are from county. So I end up going to counties winter ball and I wanted to graduate with my county friends. And all I needed to do was to contact my college manager. What I will say though, is that these changes, sometimes they may have deadlines for it. So be sure that you meet these deadlines. came to Lancaster, it was spring. <laughs> Blue skies, fresh air, not too cold, not too hot at all. Yeah, it wasn't like that 90% of the time. <laughs> Generally speaking, it gets warm from June to September. And then from November to March, it gets back to the cooler seasons again. I think it's worth getting an idea as to what the weather Lancaster would look like all year round. I found a good website for this, which I will link in the description box below. Basically, I wasn't prepared for these colder months. So I compiled a list of things to pack up that I wish I thought of before going to Lancaster. That will make my life so much easier. Okay, the list is right here. I'm just gonna read it. So I would suggest you bring different types of jackets to adapt to not only winter, but also autumn and spring. A duvet that adapts to the hot and cold weather. This means that it can be adjusted. The one that I had was from John Lewis and it separates like using like little buttons, like clips and it's two layers. So it can be like a 13 tog or a nine tog. You can also easily find this in Argos, if not in TK Maxx. You'd also need windproof and waterproof jackets because it gets rough during these colder months, you know, it rains every day and the wind, the wind is crazy. I've seen students worn rubber boots like the hunter ones. For me, so long as I have my gloves, my earmuffs, and my socks, like warm winter socks, I'm good to go. Other shopping options in Lancaster include Topshop, River Island, and um, next, Primark just opened recently, I think. And charity shops too are actually a popular option there. My friend recommends Oxfam because it has the biggest variety of things. But then also Manchester is just an hour train ride away. And there you can go to Uniqlo, <laughs> which is my favorite shop ever. <laughs> but most importantly, most importantly, I underestimated this. Have your vitamins. <laughs> you really need it during these cold months because it can get dark as early as 3.30 p.m. Which was something I needed to get used to because in Jakarta, it gets dark all year round from 6 to 6.30 p.m. Like it doesn't change. But then in Lancaster, it can go as early as 3.30 p.m. or as late as 9 p.m. What you can do is also book a flu jab when you arrive and it's highly recommended to register with a GP as soon as you do arrive. I got my first flu jab in Lancaster on campus but then following in the following years, I did it at Boots and Super Drugs in town. I also think it's worth investing in a yoga mat because during these winter months it gets dark really when it gets dark really early i'd be it'd be so easy to feel demotivated to go to the gym 
so exercising at home is the way to go. The important takeaway here is to pack things and have things that keep you motivated, healthy, and active. Once you've settled in your new accommodation, met your new flatmates and housemates, I would highly recommend exploring your area. My first accommodation was on campus in House 31, I think. And because it's a single sex dorm, it's at the topmost level. At least that's with my experience with being two years in a single sex dorm. I'm always at the top flats, like set flat seven and eight. But I get this beautiful view overlooking, like I can see the train going in and out of Lancaster. And then in the morning, I see some sheep and some green fields, which is a view that you get in Jakarta. And it was, I enjoyed it while it lasts. <laughs> but then I noticed that there's a bench across the road oh, that also overlooks this view. And that bench became one of like the secret spots on campus that I, that's really special to me and my friends. And this was just one of the hidden away spots in Lancaster that I found to be a secret gem. What with about 290 species of animals and plants, there's so many trails that you can go on. And if you go for a morning run, sometimes you might even come across a deer. And I didn't realize until a friend of mine mentioned this to me that the accommodation where you live basically decides what you do on a daily basis and how you do things. Like something as simple as how you do laundry, where you go for walks and where you go to get your groceries, where you go to eat. Lonsdale is quite secluded from the busy and crowded areas of campus. So the closest place for me to eat out was Barker's and for me to go grocery shopping was Central. But then I could also do that online with Sainsbury's. And I love that living in Lonsdale, I find these new trails. My favorite trail starts from the Pendle Wooden Walkway. There's a road next to it. So if this, the, if this is the wooden walkway, there's a road here. And then you follow that road towards LL. I wouldn't have known about this if it wasn't for and be, being enrolled in a school's volunteering module. And I had to volunteer in a primary school down at LL. And it's a 20 minute walk. Because this module started in my third year, I'm so sad. I'm so sad that I didn't know about this trail earlier on. So I advise explore as much as you can, you know. Rent a bike if you have to. Some people would have posters hanging out and like stating that it's five pounds a day to rent their bike. But if you want to be surrounded with a more metropolitan environment, a more metropolitan view, you can always hop on a train and have a day trip to Manchester or Liverpool, which is just an hour and an hour and a half, or an hour and a half away. It might just be worth investing in a 16 to 25 rail card, which gives you discounts when you book trains. And you can book these trains on an application called Trainline. I'll link down the applications that I found useful in the description box below. <laughs> University has a lot to offer beyond just seminars, lectures, colleges, and societies. And, and I wish I knew what that truly meant before I came to university. For example, I didn't know that the bookshop on campus, Blackwell's, they offer student bundled discounted packages of the books that you need for your course. And you can pre-order these online before going to university. So this would have been really useful for me, especially as an English literature student, because then I wouldn't have to bring books overseas. Again, I'll link where you can pre-order these bundles, because then after that, all you'd need to do is to walk into the store and tell them your name. Another thing that I wish I'd known earlier on was the Digital Skills Certificate Program. It's basically a program made up of five different modules and if you take one course from each module you'll get awarded a certificate and these courses are meant to help you familiarize yourself 
with the softwares that the university has subscribed to. So softwares like OneSearch, Outlook, OneDrive. I wish I'd known this in the first year and I discovered it in my third year. The university also gives you support for your career path, not just through consultations at the base, but also through Target Connect as well as ERS, Employment and Recruitment Service. There you can sign up and attend workshops like confidence building workshops, CV building workshops, um, interview skills workshops, and I found that I found them all to be really useful. Like, I remember attending the confidence building workshop, and they said what you can do is you can aim to raise your hand one time in every seminar because I was feeling really shy and I know that that is something that I needed to improve on and ever since it's small advices like that I I think I've improved a lot but before doing all of these I suggest you check out and apply to the Lank Award program. The program gives you points for doing anything other than your academics during your course of study in Lancaster. So that would include volunteering, being an active member of a society, um, attending the workshops that I just mentioned before, and also having a part-time job alongside your studies. I found it out about it just about before the deadline and I was so lucky that they extended the deadline. So I had the time to do the training. So you need to attend like a one session training where they explain to you about the Lank Award as well as about applying to it. And then I listed down everything that I did throughout the three years of my studies and I got awarded the gold award. I put that in my LinkedIn <laughs> and in my CV as well. I'll link down everything you need to know about it at the description box below. One last thing I wish I'd known about was also the evening classes. I wouldn't have found out about this if I didn't take a minor in French during my first year. It costs about 100 pounds I believe. So I think the major point is that you know have your free time but also dedicate some time to do some learnings outside of the classroom something worth remembering is that there is nothing easy about moving miles and miles away from home i always discover something new every day whether it be a new lingo or a new accent i noticed that when they greet you know they go hey how are you uh, they don't really mean how are you, how are you, how are you is part of the greeting which is very interesting to me for some reason and instead of hey, sometimes they also go heya so there was a period where I'd go heya, how are you, heya, heya <laughs> so yeah that's quite, that was, that was fun <laughs> and also instead of breakfast, lunch and dinner it goes brekkie dinner and tea <laughs> which is really it's new to me all of that but the point is it helps to know that you're not alone going through all of this you know when i miss home when i miss indonesian food when i miss speaking indonesian to people i always have the indonesian society to fall back on and that is a nice security blanket and when at home i do weekly equestrian sports i also joined the equestrian club and everyone was so welcoming and i learned so much more about horse riding there than i do here i didn't realize then that societies on top of teaching you new things and giving you a new experience. They could also be a way to stay connected to pieces of home. My personal biggest takeaway from my own university experience is to just enjoy the three to four years while it lasts. It's the perfect time to look at everything with fresh eyes and everyone starting with a clean slate and you just gotta get yourself out there. I actually really do miss looking forward to seminars and discussing things with my peers and then after that going to the library, meeting up with my friends 
and even then while we're doing work together we'll take some breaks in alexandra square the only thing i regret is not putting myself out there more you know like because i was so shy and i lacked so much confidence i didn't know earlier on that the university offered me opportunities to help work out on these things and so much more it's good to remember that should anything happen or if there is a problem that you can't deal with by yourself the university has always gotten your back you know university is hard it's not easy you know emotionally and academically i would know and i'm sure <laughs> i'm sure the university knows and they're prepared for that they're prepared to help you but you got this and i'm so happy and i'm so excited that you've chosen to pursue your education i'm glad i can say with complete confidence that everyone i met there were so friendly and the community is so welcoming i'm so 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 happy i got to make a new group of friends and like all i needed to do and all you need to do is to get yourself out there and give it all you've got that's it for today i hope you find this really useful thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe watch more digital content videos if you want to know more about lancaster and i'll see you next time bye